problem number two, you have the absolute value. If you had anything else outside the absolute value, such as a 2 times the absolute value minus 3 equals 12, get rid of everything else first. Get it so you only have the absolute value by itself. So then you split this into two, where this is a positive and negative. If this happened to be an inequality, when you set this one to a negative, don't forget to turn around the inequality. So I have 4 minus 2x equals 12, and 4 minus 2x equals negative 12. Solve those two problems separately. Subtract 4 from each side. So x equals negative 4, that's one of my answers. And again, solve this one. So minus 2x equals minus 16, so x equals 8.